Hello, my name is Hugh Trombley, and I would like to welcome you to the Shading and Material Creation in Unreal Engine course. This will be a six-week course focusing on how to approach the creation of materials and shaders in Unreal Engine 4 in a professional setting in real-time game environments, and I'm very excited to be your teacher for this course. First, let me tell you a little about myself. I've been working professionally for five years at various studios such as Infinity Ward, working with the tech art team on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, House, where I worked in developing a pipeline using substance to extract albedo, normal, and other PBR values from fabric samples to be applied in both our real-time and offline renders. And finally, Senzaro Games, where I currently work with the prop and texture teams in creating amazing art and visuals in a VR game pipeline for such games as Marvel Powers United and Asgard's Wrath. The goal of this course will be to demonstrate and understand what physically based materials and shaders are and how you can go about creating them in the Unreal Engine platform. Though this course will be about the Unreal Engine side of development, various methods and techniques can also be applied to other shader systems in other real-time game engines. In our first week, we will go over what PBR shaders and materials are, as well as an overview of the Unreal Engine UI and basics of material creation. In the second week, we will go over the fundamentals of master materials, the creation and usage of material functions, and we will also go over the mathematics used in shader creation. For the third week, we will go over more complex materials and mathematic functions such as glass materials and Fresnel, subsurface scattering, clear coat, and velvet and or other special fabric materials. We will also go over time, sine, cosine, and pan and rotation nodes and their usage in material shaders. For the fourth week, we will start to go through more advanced shaders usage in production, such as landscape materials, as well as vertex painting and their offsets, weight-based painting, triplanar projection, and world position-based effects. In our fifth week, we will break down the more performance-heavy shaders used in games such as tessellation and displacement, as well as parallax, and mesh decals and deferred render decals. Finally, in the sixth week, we will go over foliage-based shaders since they are now becoming a more fleshed out feature in game art environments. We will go over the creation of a basic foliage shader as well as ways to supplement performance using mesh distance field nodes used in large game environments. And finally, virtual textures and how they can help alleviate huge chunks of performance. So with that, I thank you for your participation in this course and I look forward to the weeks to come. So let's have fun and let's get into it.